I'm going to teach you how to either have temporary root or perma root on your Junsun A930 mirror or your Junsun A931 mirror, which are the exact same mirror except they come in different packages. A931 comes with like a 15 meter backup camera cord and the A930 comes with a 6 millimeter or a 6 meter. This tutorial should work on any rear view mirror that uses a MediaTek chip, but you will have to provide your own boot image and scatter file. Now, before we install it, do any of this, you will need to install the MTK drivers I've provided. Uh, they're only for Windows. I'm sorry, Mac Linux users. I wasn't able to find any for those. If you have any trouble, go into your Windows recovery and then turn off sign drivers and try again. Now we want to install Kingo root on PC and while that's installing we want to go to setup on the mirror go to the other tab scroll down to the bottom click on version until a menu pops up then click on USB host and change that to USB device now, if it doesn't show up on your computer in ADB like it does on here for me, try switching USB ports to a 3.0 port because the 2.0 port didn't work for me. And so when I typed ADB devices into my ADB CMD, I didn't get any devices. So try different ports and see if that works. Maybe a different cord if it still doesn't work. Okay, when Kingo root finishes, click finish and let it launch. It should recognize your device. It'll say something like Alps FX for mine and click root. Now Kingo root is only a temporary root. So you will have to do this every time you restart it because it does not hold the root otherwise. If that's what you want, you can stop after this finishes you're good but I'm gonna also show you how to get a permanent root that will stay there when you restart it using mask which I prefer anyways because it's a cleaner super user in my opinion you can also hide it and all this other nice features now if your device happens to not work if Kingo root cannot root it for you then you will need to find a way to get your device rooted. This is saying if you don't have the A930, you'll need to find a way to get it rooted for you to be able to do the rest of this. Okay, so now we have root. Now what you wanna do is open your ADB and type in ADB install, then select the mask APK and drag it into the command prompt and click enter. Now mine froze when I first attempted this, like the command prompt. So I closed and opened a new one. If it just kind of lingers there and it won't enter or it won't say anything. Now when this is done installing, you want to open mask in the mirror. Make sure that you grant it super user rights via Kingo user, Kingo super user. And also make sure you have Wi-Fi because I ran into the problem where I didn't have the options I needed because I forgot to sign in to Wi-Fi. You can also use data because they do take SIM cards as one of the features as 4G. So have Wi-Fi or data on before opening mask. Now, when you're in mask, it might say download the latest version of the mask manager. Go ahead and do that if you want. You don't have to. I did. First, you want to install a file manager i'm using es explorer but you can use any file explorer you want 
I installed mine through ADB by ADB install, and then I dragged ES Explorer APK into the command prompt and installed it. This is crucial because the Jensung A930 doesn't have a proper file manager to be able to do this otherwise. Okay, so we want to go back into ADB and type in the command ADB push and then select the boot image file that either you got from the firmware that I provided or if you have a different device you provide yourself and we're going to push that into forward slash SD card forward slash download and then enter Now we'll go back into our mirror and we'll open up mask. We'll click next to where it says mask is not installed and we'll click install. Select the option for select and patch a file. Now click on your file explorer. Open the downloads folder or the download folder that we sent the boot image to and select the boot image. Now it will give you two options if you're using ES Explorer. The first one is the normal Android way. This one did not work for me correctly. It kept on failing. So I ended up selecting file way and it worked perfectly. So click the second one and let mask do its work and when it's finished it will give you a link to where it exported mask underscore patched dot img which is an image file okay so now we'll go back on our computer get back into adb and type adb pool quotations forward slash sd card forward slash download forward slash mask underscore patched dot img quotation and then we'll space and we'll type the location we want to put this file on the computer where we want to pull it to so i used f my f drive but if you do happen to not have an f drive you can use c just add the windows explorer address for the location you want to store it. I found that folders with spaces in them do not work. So if you have a folder that uses spaces, it will probably give you an error. So go ahead and rename that folder without spaces and try again. Now with that file on our computer, we'll go into SP Flash Tool, which I provided in the root pack zip. Click on the download tab, click scatter file, and pick the scatter file for your device. If you have the same device as me, you can find it in the firmware that I've provided. Or if you have a different device, you will use your own. Now unclick everything, all the options. We don't want to flash anything else, we just want to flash the boot image. So go down to the boot image, click on the location box for it, find the location for the boot image, mask underscore patched image, and select it. Now I renamed mine to boot underscore patch dot image. I just did that because I like renaming it to that. It's not necessary. Now after you select the boot image we just made, We'll click open and it should show the location now in the boot image box or in the boot aisle and the box should be selected for boot. Make sure it's selected and that it's the only one selected. Now we'll push download with the green arrow and we'll restart our rear view mirror by holding down 
the menu button and click in restart. Make sure you do not unplug the USB at any point during this. Now, when the rearview mirror goes off and restarts, you should see SP flash tool start loading. There should be a yellow bar at the bottom and then it will go to a red bar, which is where it's actually flashing it. And then it will say download OK in a pop up when it's finished and your rear view mirror should restart. Now when your rear view mirror restarts, let's go to Mask Manager. Let's open it up. Let's see if it says Mask is installed now. It should say Mask is installed and there should be a little green box next to it. And now you have permanent root for your device. You can also uninstall Kingo Super User because it's no longer needed. And if you want any of the splash screens I used, I'll leave them in the description. All you have to do is go into SP Flash Tool, select logo, only logo, and then select the location of the logo.bin file that you downloaded from me or from somewhere else that is specific to your device. And you click download and you flash it just like we did with the boot image. And it should have those splash screens. I've also provided a boot animation in the description. To install this, you will just copy it into the root folder with the boot.mov file in it and just rename boot animation boot.mov. So just replace that boot.mov with the one I provided and rename it. I hope that this helps you out. If you have any questions, be sure to direct message me or leave a comment.